What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. Woo! It has been a hot minute and I know I look different. I've been gone for a really long time and we're gonna talk about all of that in a second. Um, I figured my first video back or like my first, well I guess I uploaded a vlog, um, but my first like real beauty video, whatever, back I figured should kind of be like a get ready with me catch up kind of situation because I know I've been gone without explanation for a really long time and just so much stuff has happened so I figured the best thing to do is just sit down let you guys know what's going on tell you all about it and I just need to get ready for the day so I thought it would be fun to do just kind of like a casual makeup look um, I don't have anything too crazy in mind um, I like to save those for like makeup tutorials and stuff like that. Um, so if I'm not doing a very good job telling you what I'm doing exactly to my face and which products I'm using, I will be sure to link them down below or list them in the description box so that way you guys can kind of see what I've been using. Um, and yeah, I really just want to sit down and play with some makeup because it's been so long. Um, I want to play with some products that I haven't touched in like ages and some current favorites. So we got a little bit of everything in this video. So if you are interested in getting ready with me today, then let's get started. So I guess the first thing we should talk about, um, <laughs> the elephant in the room, my hair, which is actually in the way. So this is not 100% the solution. This isn't the finished product. Um, for those of you who don't know, I did have extensions. I had tape and extensions there for a really, really long time. And I also was a little bit darker, but we're on the road back to Icy Platinum Blonde. And the extensions were just too much for me. Like I, I couldn't deal with them anymore. Living in North Carolina with the heat and the humidity, I just, I needed them out. And I also kind of got them with the purpose of having them in for the wedding, but now the wedding has been shifted as you guys all know which we will talk wedding stuff in a minute. Um, so we're back to short and I actually am loving it. Um, the color is not quite there yet, but we're working on it and it's a work in progress. Um, so I didn't want to be bald by bleaching my hair all off my head. So we have to go in stages, but hopefully next time I go in like five or six weeks, we'll be right where I want to be. Um, she did get me pretty light and I wish I didn't cut as much off, but the bob is cute. I like it. We'll keep it for a little bit, and then I'll probably go back into clipping and extensions if I want longer hair. Um, but, so now that we got the elephant out of the room, let's go ahead and get started on our face. So I'm going to be starting with my base makeup first today, um, and I'm going to go in with the Cover FX Gripping Primer. This has been my favorite lately. I just think it's so good. It's like a clear gel consistency, but it really just like keeps your makeup in place and I've been finding that my skin has just been so good lately that I haven't needed like a super mattifying primer so this and like the milk makeup hydro grip primers have been my favorite because it's tacky and keeps your makeup in place but not like overly drying and like sucks the life out of your skin so I think I'm gonna go in with Fenty Beauty it's been so long since I've used this so we're gonna go for it. I don't even know if I like this still. Oh, and that's probably too much. Um, so if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, which you should, I will leave my info somewhere. I always have it in my videos and also linked in the description box. Um, but if you don't follow me on Instagram, um, my fiance, husband, <laughs> um just recently deployed he's been gone for about a month now so you know I was just trying to get my life together and like understand how to be like by myself again and it was just a lot for me and I've been out of the country and traveling um so people have been asking me and like thank you guys so much for all of the sweet like support and everything Nick is doing well despite recent events um I don't watch the news because it just gives me anxiety. Um, I do know where he is, but I'm not sure what he's doing exactly. Um, and I'm not really allowed to say. But he's okay, and that's what's important. So, happy to report that. I have spoken to him frequently, and he's doing good, which makes me happy. Um, 
So yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about that. <laughs> um, and then, so after Nick left, like two days later, I left for Seattle to go visit my sister. And I was staying there for like two weeks, but then unfortunately we had a death in the family, so I had to leave the country and go attend a funeral, and it just like, it was so much. Like in the span of two weeks, I just, <laughs> it was a lot to handle. It really, really was. Um, so I just took a little time out, and plus with me trying to freelance a little bit more and like build my business, and it's just, it's, I've had a lot of, things going on and I feel like I haven't really been able to focus on one thing specifically. I've had my feet kind of in like 18 different pools. Um, so, you know, it's okay. We're back in it. I feel like I've been taking a lot of breaks from YouTube, but YouTube is just not like my primary income or source of like job yet. Um, I mean, I would love to get to the point where it is, but I'm just not there yet. So other things do take priority, especially with me basically being home by myself, having to maintain a whole house, take care of two dogs, work, do all this stuff alone. It's been a pretty big adjustment. So I just needed to take some time and um, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer, by the way. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what's been going on. Everything is okay though. We are all good. We are back in action. I'm really excited. Um, I've been getting back into like wedding planning and stuff. So I've just been actually really freaking busy. <laughs> uh, to set my face, I'm just going to take my Hourglass um, Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I haven't been into baking lately. I don't know why. It's just like not my cup of tea. My makeup preference has changed so much in the span of like a month. I really like more like natural and like luminous glowy stuff now. I'm not so much into like the crazy matte cake face that I used to be. Um, so speaking of wedding planning and stuff, again, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I did announce it on my Instagram. Um, I... Usually even when I take like a little siesta from YouTube and stuff, I usually am still active on Instagram just because it's easier and I don't want to go completely off the map. Um, but we did reschedule the wedding. We have a new date and everything's been kind of like in the full swing of things again. Um, we are going to be getting married May 9th. It's going to be the same location and pretty much the same everything. I just had to move the date. Um, I did have to find a few new vendors, so I didn't, but I didn't have to start completely from scratch, which is really, really nice. Um, that part was, thank God everyone was like super understanding and kind. I'm so appreciative of that. Um, again, if you haven't followed me before, we were originally supposed to get married in August, like in a month. Um, but since Nick got deployed, we had to postpone and it was pretty heartbreaking and I wasn't thrilled, but we have a new date on the calendar. I'm working on getting new save the dates out and stuff. Um, we really couldn't take action until we knew like when he would be getting back or like roughly a time frame. So we are going to be getting married May 9th, a nice spring wedding, which is funny because my birthday is actually May 8th. So we're getting married the day after my birthday, which I'm excited about. Like, that's so cool. And it's also very easy for Nick to remember. He doesn't have to, like, write a bunch of dates down and try and remember stuff. It's pretty, pretty straightforward for him. But, yeah, wedding planning is coming along good. I'm just finalizing some details. Um, I'm still trying to find, like I said, what is this? A few vendors. For some reason, I'm having a really, really difficult time finding a hair person. Um, so that's been a challenge. I am still going to do my own makeup and stuff. I have decided, um, but I need somebody to do my hair and I need somebody for all the girls, of course. Um, so I'm going to continue working on that and we have to find a new baker and stuff. Um, but it's just little things like the venues the same and all that still. So that part is really nice. And yes, I do still love my dress, even though I've had it for like a year. I'm still so obsessed with it and I cannot wait to wear it. 
Um, so I'm back actually on the eyebrow pencil train. I'm going to take my Catrice Slimatic Ultra Precise, Precise, Ultra Precise Brow Pencil, um, and I'm using, what shade am I? That's weird and kind of, oh, it says it on the cap. Yes, this is light. Um, I've been using light just because I've, like I said, I've been going a little bit more natural, which is wild for me. And I cannot talk and do brows at the same time, so I'll speed this part up. <laughs> All right, so eyebrows are on. Let's move on to bronzer. Um, I'm going to go into this uh, Benefit Cheek Leaders Bronze Squad, and I'm going to take Hula Caramel here and just bronze up my face with this a little bit. I haven't been into like a harsh contour either. Like I really just like bronzer and then like I'm done with it, you know? Also, I'm so sorry if you can hear the lawn people outside mowing the lawn, dogs in the background, airplanes in the sky. I'm so sorry. Like, things are just happening. I don't know what to do about it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's like one of the things living next to an army post. Like, there's always noise. There's always, always something. And it like freaks the dogs out so much. And I hate it because it'll be like the middle of the night and they'll just like start barking and I'm like, excuse me, please only alert if I'm actually about to die or somebody's gonna rob us. Like, that's that's the only reason why you should be barking. It scares the crap out of me. Like yesterday, I was just like drifting off to sleep and then they started like, and I was like, oh my God, it scared me so much. But I think it was just like, somebody walking their dog outside which people walk their dogs kind of late here because people work crazy hours um so I think that's that's what it was I'm telling myself that's what it was because it stresses me out if not so for blush I'm taking one of these cover fx um monochromatic duo things um this is the shade warm honey it's a little bit dark but I'm thinking because I'm pretty self-tanned. Mm, yep, just as pigmented as I remember. It looks like mauve in the pan, but when you apply it to your cheeks, it comes out a little bit peachier. I don't know, I really like it, I think it's pretty. But just use a really, really light hand with these things. So also, if you guys haven't seen my vlog that I uploaded, I started keto. It's been so great. I'm obsessed. Like truly cannot say enough good things about it. Like I really, really, really love it. I'm, I'm going to try and stick this one out. Um, it's been really good for my mindset and I just love the way I feel. Everything has been amazing. So I kind of share some, um, recipes and talk a little bit about the progress I made. I'm only on week three and I've seen like crazy results already. Um, so I've really, really been loving it. I've seen a huge difference in how I feel, like I said, and how I look. So um, if you're interested, I'm happy to do more of them and kind of update you on my progress. And kind of like I say in the vlog, I'm also using it as something to kind of keep me about. I can't speak, wow, because I haven't sat in front of a camera in so long. Um, but it kind of keeps me a little bit more accountable as well, which I need because I suck at consistency and stuff. Um, so I'm just going to take my Morphe Bretman Rock Babe in Paradise Highlight Palette. Um, actually, let's take an Anastasia, um, what is this? I don't even, God, have I done makeup before? Like an A23 brush? Bye. Um, and I'm just going to mix, actually, I think I'm just going to go with Mahu, is that how you say it? I don't know. I actually got this palette in Vegas at the Morphe store. I love it, it's so good. I got it originally for my kit um, to use on clients because there's so many great, like just such a variety of colors in here, but I've been using it all myself, honestly. I mean, look at that, it's so good. Um, Speaking of my makeup kit, um, I'm thinking that I'm going to do 
maybe like a what's in my kit video. Um, so for two reasons, A, because I want to show you guys like some really good products to have in your basic makeup collection, or if you're a makeup artist wanting to start out some really good pieces for you to have, um, kind of what I think is like the necessity and what you can kind of skimp on. And also I kind of want to use it as like a marketing technique. Um, like, Hey, these are the products I use in my kit. I use very high quality things. This is what you can kind of expect from me. So that way people kind of know what they're getting into. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of my thoughts on the matter. Um, I'm thinking that I might do it more of vlog style than like a formal video. I keep saying this, but I want to get more into vlogging. Like I need to. Um, but I'm going to go in with my Jaclyn Hill palette and just do a little eye look. Again, something really, really simple. Um, but I really do want to start vlogging more. Um, maybe not like everyday life stuff because nobody really cares about that. Um, like you don't need to see what I bought from Target, but I think more keto vlogs would be fun. And then, um, I don't know, maybe like a house tour because I think the house is finally like done. I mean, it's been done for a while, but I've just been adding a few things, especially while Nick is away. It kind of keeps me busy. And when he comes home, it'll look so good. And I don't know. So I might do some like house decor stuff. Um, I don't know. I just want to like show you guys a more personal side of things. And I just want to like let you guys get to know me a little bit better. And I feel like vlogs are the easiest because they're like really low threat, like no pressure, no nothing. They're just super easy and fun. And I love them. Like maybe I'll vlog the next time I get my hair done or something like that. I don't know. I'm just going through like, I think I'm having a quarter life crisis, even though I'm not even 25 yet. Um, I just feel like I need change. I need to switch up whatever it is I'm doing in life. I think that's also why I changed my hair because when I'm bored with life or need change, the first thing I do is do something crazy in my hair. Um, so I think that's why I'm kind of like, oh, I need to go back to where I just need to change. Like my hair was long. Let's go short. My hair was darker. Let's go platinum. Like I'm having an identity crisis again. Also, I got lash extensions for like a while there. I'm just like rambling. Like I'm so all over the place, but yeah, I got lash extensions for, I got them for my bachelorette party and then because I knew I was going to be traveling so much, I just thought they would be easier and I really did like them, but like I had enough, like these last for like, and I have like just like four hanging on for the life of them and I just really don't want them anymore. I want them to go away and I don't know how to get them off. So if you have and also, I don't, people are like, oh, just go get them removed. I'm not paying any more for these lashes. Like, to get them filled every two weeks and to even get them on when I'm someone who wears false lashes all the time anyways, like, it just wasn't worth it for me. Like, I like them. She did a really, really good job. It's not her fault at all. Like, she did an amazing job. I love the girl who I went to go see. But I just, I don't know if it's, like, worth it for me, honestly. And I don't really want to pay to get them removed because it's really freaking expensive. Like, if you've ever had eyelash extensions, like, I don't know how people keep them for, like, a year because it costs an arm and a leg to maintain them. Like, I'm just... And I miss doing, like, heavy eye makeup looks. It was nice, like I said, while I was traveling because I could kind of just pack the bare minimum, like... I think when I went to Seattle and Germany, all I brought with me was like a foundation, a concealer, a setting powder, and like a brow pencil. I was not doing anything crazy, but I looked so put together. Um, I did get a brow tint too, which I absolutely loved. I would do that again. It was like a henna brow tint, but I think it's pretty much worn off. So I did have to fill in my brows. But for a while there, I felt so good. I didn't wear like any makeup because I was just like put together and ready to go. Like on the spot it was amazing so I think I am gonna wear falsies today I'm just gonna put them right on top of these guys like can you guys see how ridiculous that is I just have like four or five hanging on and I got um what was the link was it 
16, a mix between like 12 and 16 to give me a really like wispy full look. And my eyelashes normally are so freaking short, so like it's so noticeable. Um, it's not like they are like a natural fallout. It's Alrighty, so lashes are on. Last but not least, we need to do our lips. I'm going to take MAC Cork. Looks so scary on camera. <laughs> so then on top of that, I'm going to take this Morphe Matte Lipstick in the shade Honey. I've been really loving these lipsticks. They remind me of MAC. Except for maybe a little bit more comfortable. I don't know. I like them. Can you tell I'm ready for fall? Like I just want to wear like dark, like taupey nude lips and stuff. Mm. Alrighty, you guys, this is going to conclude today's video. I actually like this has been my go to makeup lately, like a fun lip, not fun, but like a different nude lip and like really soft, easy eyes um, and just like glowy tan skin. I've been living for it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me and catching up with me today. I know it's been a while. I'm so, so, so sorry, but I have lots of exciting things planned. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel and also click the little bell notification down below. So that way you are notified every time I upload. Um, I did just do a giveaway in the summer, but if we reach my subscriber goal for 2019 or maybe for Christmas or something like that, I plan on doing a few more giveaways. So make sure you're following me on Instagram, Twitter, the whole nine, because I sometimes will only announce certain things on Instagram or certain things on YouTube. Um, and Instagram is kind of just like a bigger snapshot of my life. I post makeup pictures, all that kind of stuff, pictures of my clients, everything is on my Instagram. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. It really, really helps me out. And if you have any video requests, feel free to leave them down below or you can always DM me. Um, I do have a few ideas in my head, but of course I always want to give you guys the content you request. So if there's something that you're interested in, let me know and we can make it happen. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Shadow turns to sun